Bethany from Ludlam Family Farm. In this video, I'll be sharing the final build out of our container home. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more from us. You can also follow us on Instagram at Ludlam Family Farm. The link is in the description box. Our drywall is up and so now it's time to paint. We went with Nano White throughout the entire container. It's a bare paint from Home Depot and we've used it before. It's the perfect shade of white. It makes the space look really clean and open. We'll be adding an accent color later and wood trim throughout to help balance out the white. Now that the walls are painted, we can add the flooring. We did Pergo Cliplock and Sunfield Oak. We really like this color because of the different tones in it. It has a lot of the browns, but also some darker gray tones as well. part of this whole project was picking out the paint color, the floors, the bathroom tile, because we basically just replicated everything that we just did in our own home. So we bought our house right before she was born and we moved into it not even a month before she was actually born, but we did have a little bit of time before to get it ready. So. We were in a really big rush, so we focused on the most important things, which for us, that was painting everything, putting in new floors in the bedrooms, and we did one bathroom. And we wanna do so much more, and we will actually most likely just document it as we go, but we need to take down some walls. And so once we take down the walls, then we can go in and do all the other flooring inside, and we wanna put in a wood, burning stove for this winter. We are gonna redo the kitchen, but we're not redoing all that until that wall comes down. So one thing at a time, our first focus here is getting this container done. It's almost done. And then we can start focusing on our home and making it beautiful and just a really nice place for Lakey to grow up. The end is in sight with this container project. And then we're actually gonna start getting some animals. So I think we're gonna start off with just goats and some birds, and then we'll get cows and then horses. So lots of exciting things coming soon. The bathroom is small, but we wanted it to be nice. We went with a shower insert to save time and keep us on budget. Floors are cityscape gray from Lowe's. I love the concrete look, but a lot of tiles with this look can be costly. These came in at just $2.10 a square foot. Such a good deal. The quality is amazing and we're really happy with them. Hunter originally picked up a vanity from Home Depot, but when he went to install it, we realized that the depth of it is too big and would make getting in and out of the shower difficult. I did some online searching and found a vanity that was smaller and would fit in the space perfectly. We had to wait a few weeks for it to arrive, and when it did, only the top was delivered and it was shattered. We reached out to the company and they refunded us. I took the chance and reordered, and this time it arrived in perfect condition. That was such a relief. we actually had a decent amount of space to work with. We were over budget with this project, so we started looking at counters. We decided to go with a butcher block countertop. Hannah wanted to do butcher block anyways, so it all worked out. It's a cabinet day. We just tested our water. We don't have any leaks. We capped it off and then just turned it on to make sure before we put these cabinets in and fasten them to the wall that we're not gonna have any issues. Um, it's gonna be a lot easier for me to paint these on the wall than to pick these 50 to 100 pound cabinets up by myself, take them outside, paint them. It is doable, I brought them in here by myself and it was a pain. But uh, what I noticed and what 
you need to know about the Susans is they don't come uh, fit to size. You'll have to add a nail or a block. So like this Susan says, it's a 36, right? And it's for 24 uh, depth cabinets and they're saying it's 36, but the actual is 28 and a half. Um, so what I had to end up doing here was I called a buddy who does a lot of cabinets. Um, I've hung a few cabinets, but this is the first time doing it by myself and installing Susan's. Usually we just put like three or four, you know, base or wall cabinets up that are straight like this. We don't have any issues. It's real simple, real straightforward. You put a few screws in the back, make sure it's level, and that's it. Well, this was a little different. It said it came 36, but it, it really didn't. It came 28 and a half. And I know my butcher block is 25 inches, and I know uh, this base 24 here is 24 by 24. So you can see it sits at about 24 and a quarter not even maybe a, uh, an eighth or a sixteenth because we got a little gap on the wall here, all right? So everything is gonna line up with your uh, tallest and the cabinet that comes off the wall the most. So I'll pre-fit all these in here and then I'll end up putting little pieces of wood back here to make sure that this has got something tied up on it. And then I see my stud is right here. You can still kind of see it. So I'm gonna put about three or four or five screws all the way up in this. All right, and then I'm gonna fit it out here so this is tight to the wall. to do green, white, and wood throughout the container, and we thought about doing a green tile backsplash. We decided that over time we may want to make updates, and while green is super trendy right now, it may not be down the road, so we went with classic white subway backsplash and decided to save the green for the cabinets. Since I wanted to paint the cabinets, we got unfinished wood cabinets so that the paint would bond to it well. Now with the backsplash in, I feel like it totally transforms the space. It doesn't feel like you're in a shipping container. All right, so I'm building some uh, floating shelves here today. Uh, you need three two by four by eights, non-treated, it's going inside. And if you're gonna have some weight on that shelf, um, we're gonna lag this block into the wall just like a uh, just like you're building a wall so we're basically going to frame out um, a shelf we'll frame this out and then we'll lock this piece into the wall and then we'll put this finished piece on um, so what we did here our two by fours are an inch and a half each and uh, I cut 12 pieces and I'm running uh, a stud every every 12 inches and then two on the end so you need like 10 to 12 pieces something like that i got 10 here 12 and i'm gonna uh lock all these in these are five inches plus an inch and a half on the two finishing two by four so your shelf will be eight inches and then you'll put a finishing piece of plywood around it um some people will like build it and then slide another piece over but this is a lot easier and faster you just build the whole shelf on the wall and then finish it on the wall so i'm just gonna uh, lock all these in real quick i got my studs marked on all these and my screws are pre-drilled just to go a little bit faster, we can just lock these in. You could use a nail gun too, but the uh, screws secure it a little better. Same on your decks. Nails, uh, like if you see old nail decks or old nail 
drywall, a lot of it's coming out. The screws won't do that. since four this morning. We are bringing him a cup of coffee. There was a really crazy storm that came through last night and blew the container door open. We don't have a lock on it yet. So getting that, but there was water everywhere. Um, so he had to clean all that up. And at that point he was up, so he's just been working. electric fireplace on the wall in the kitchen we're finishing up this uh, floating shelf here we're gonna paint these cabinets we trimmed everything out the fridge is gonna go here we got the entire floor here uh, trimmed out same with the windows Tonight we're doing a little role reverse and I'm in the container working while Hunter's watching Lakey. from the container today to spend the day at Assateague. We parked right on the beach and got a little fire going to make some burgers.
really changed this whole container project. It brings the front of the container to life and makes it look like a home. doing the landscaping today about to take a little princess and put her down for her nap it's been so hot out here it's like 90 something every single day so yeah definitely trying to beat the heat I think we'll stay inside as much as possible and then maybe go swimming later but in this video I thought we might have some more done to show, but I think what we're gonna do is just show you what we have so far, and then the next video will be the full tour of everything done, because all this last minute finish work, it's taking so long, and I wanna get a video out. So, I'll show you what we have so far. And then the next video will be, everything's complete, everything is inside, all the decorations and final touches, and then, for the sake of getting it up and rented out. Um, we might come in and do some more stuff later, but for right now, we just wanna get it up. It's about a month longer than we actually wanted to be in on the project. So yeah, we're uh, gonna wrap it up here. yesterday and when he comes in I asked him how is it like how does it look and he goes it's gray well we didn't want gray so I'm like what do you mean and he shows me pictures and it's gray it looks like he painted it gray and it's just it's so bad and so we're both freaking out and we both just needed the night to think about it like what to do so I think we're gonna sand first but he did sand a little part he said it came off so hopefully that works it's such a shame because he did all this pretty woodwork we have the pretty um wood counters and we just want it to be the right color so hopefully we can resolve this and it's just like this just happen and you just have to roll with it and um yeah it's definitely a bummer but it is what it is it pushes us back another day which right now all we don't have is time like we're trying to get it done and so yeah hasn't been fun dealing with that the last few days but Hopefully it's not as bad as we thought and it comes off really easy. And sanding the counters. We want them to match the floors as much as possible, so he sanded it down so you could see the wood tones coming back through, but it still has some of the gray. He picked up a few stains from Home Depot to test, and we're going to add another one on top so that the wood comes through more and it doesn't look so washed. very happy with how the counters turned out and love the color. 
At first, we were wishing that we had just kept the original wood color after the whole gray counter fiasco, but looking back at the before pictures, I really love the way they turned out. They look so good with the green cabinets, and it really all worked out in the end. to be able to comfortably sleep for guests and with the block out insulation and drywall the width of the container is only seven foot now finding a couch that would pull out and fit in the container was a bit of a challenge i looked at a few futons but i didn't really love any of them and a lot of the reviews said they were uncomfortable i found a couch from article that pulls out and doesn't take up as much space as a traditional pull out couch I'll link it in the description box. It's nice and firm, but still comfortable. It's the perfect couch for a shipping container. Besides working on the container, we've just been enjoying summer. We put up an above ground pool so we can teach Lakey how to swim. We've been going to the beach a lot in the evenings to surf. Hunter took a surfboard to the face the other night and ended up needing stitches. But other than that, it's been a really good summer. In my next video, we'll give the full container tour. Everything will be done and we are so excited to be closing this chapter of our lives. It's been such a neat experience and we've learned a lot, but we are really ready for things to slow down a bit. We will be doing a video covering the entire budget for this build and then we'll start documenting our next project. Follow us on Instagram at Ludlam Family Farm. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. We would love to hear from you in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.